To create that boolean design, you need to add the plane. Then go to the edit mode and then subdivide it. As like this, few times. After that, you need to add the circle. This circle is just for the guide, so we can understand where we need to select the faces. Then you need to select the faces as like this. You need to select the faces in the alternate way and you need to create that checkered board pattern as like this. Then you need to use the insert operation add there and give the proper thickness. Then select the remaining faces, faces which are in between those faces. Then one more time use the insert operation and give the same thickness amount. Now just I am selecting few more faces. First I will show you how you can create that square shape with the boolean design. Then you need to select everything and take the symmetry along the y axis. Then we will get this kind of topology. Then hide that circle. And now you need to select the faces then select then select similar and then parameter. In this way you can select the similar faces with the same parameter. This is the faster way. Then you need to use the loop tool and then circle option. And then use the insert operation add there and then delete the faces. You will get this kind of boolean design which looks really well. You need to select everything and then E to extrude it and move it along the Z axis. After that you need to select the face loop like this then select then select similar and then parameter. It will select all the faces with the same parameter. Then use the insert operation add there to add the supporting loop cuts. Then one more time select the face loop and then select similar and this time you need to choose the normal. It will select the face loops with the same normal orientation. Then you can use the insert operation add there to add the supporting loop cuts. And now this time I am using the parameter. Then just you need to add the supporting loop cuts to maintain the form of the model. Then you can add the subd modifier on it and shear smooth it. Now you can see it looks really well. We got a decent boolean design with a square shape. Now I will show you how you can create the circular shape design. Just turn on that circle. Move it little bit along the z axis so we can see it easily. And now you can see easily we can create the circular shape. For that we need to dissolve some booleans. And how we can do that? Just shift D to duplicate it. Then take that circle at here also. Here I will show you how you can do that. Ok, now you need to select the face loop. So before that turn off that subd modifier. Then select the face loop like this. The shift all select. You need to select the face loops for these booleans. Which are outside of that circle. Or which intersect that circle. After that you need to increase the selection with the control plus And then delete the faces. Then you need to select that edge loop. And then merge at the center. And then you can dissolve this diagonal edges which we don't need. So select the edge loop and then press M and merge at the center. And then just need to dissolve this diagonal edges. In this way easily you can dissolve the whole side there. Then just take the symmetry along the X and Y axis. And you can see we are getting that circular shape. It's very simple to get that circular shape. You are not going to get the perfect circular shape but you will get something like this. This kind of designs we can see on the speaker, any kind of gadgets, something like that. So in this way you can create this kind of design. You can see the topology of the model. Which looks really well. We have tried to maintain the Cordobus topology. And easily we have created this kind of design. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. See so the next video. Take care. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it, fuse like a magnet Lose, won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket